Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and here's your word for the day. As followers of Jesus, do you remember the first time you came into a life-changing relationship with Jesus? Like go back to that moment because you never forget it. You don't because it was the first time that you experienced real forgiveness, real peace, real comfort and strength that was above and beyond your own. It was the first time you experienced real joy in your life. It was almost like you found um, hidden treasure. Listen to what it says in Matthew 13, starting at verse 44. It says this. It says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells everything that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. I had you think back to that moment because as you serve God and have been serving God for some time now, then you know how easy it is to forget. Because as Christians, we have this tendency to, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Forget. You see how I almost forgot that word? We tend to forget that Jesus and the kingdom of heaven is so valuable that it is a treasure worth giving up everything for. That moment when you first believe should never stay a moment, but a reality in your life that gets better and better as the days go by. Because our relationship with Jesus isn't and should never be a surface relationship. These two parables I just read, it wasn't just a surface find. They had to dig deeper. They had to dive deeper to find that treasure. We should want to dig and dive deeper into the heart of God. And we do that when we dig and dive deeper into the word of God, because the Bible is full of treasure, full of wisdom and guidance and peace, strength and comfort, hope and joy. And this is where God reveals his heart to you and I. And this is where God speaks to you. I mean, do I really need to keep going? Because everything that you're looking for to fulfill your life and some as followers of Christ is right here. The Bible is the inerrant, inspired word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. You should also want to dig and dive deeper into your prayer life. Not just going to God with our needs and wants. We should continue to do that. But just sitting in his presence, sitting in his goodness. That's how precious serving Jesus is. That's how precious the gospel is. That's how precious the kingdom of heaven is. That's how precious the will of God is. It's like a treasure hidden in a field which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells everything he had and buys that field. Beloved, don't ever lose that awe and wonder of being a follower of Jesus, of serving the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. If you have, or maybe there's something holding you back from a deeper relationship with Jesus today. If there is, repent and ask the Lord to forgive you because Jesus is a treasure worth giving up everything in this world for. God bless you and have a wonderful day today.